Hello, friends. Happy Wednesday. Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty. And today, I believe we are going to finish up another coaster, our Blue China coaster. We only have the number three left, so let's get started. And we'll zoom you in. Ooh, sorry about that. There we go. So how are you today? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. For it being the middle of the week, why not, right? I'm hopeful. <laughs> Hope springs eternal. All right, number three. I'm go ahead and get that out. Um, there we are. Beautiful deep blue rhinestones. All right, let's get started. I'm going to start over here. So I hope you're having a great day. It's Wednesday. Hump day. After having a short week last week, it makes the first week after a short week very, very long. <laughs> Nothing messes you up, messes your Friday up more than realizing it's Wednesday. No, I've known it's Wednesday. That's just a joke. But it does feel like a long week. For sure, and this heat doesn't help, you know. Gosh, I remember growing up just thinking about the heat, and then I think about ways to combat the heat. And then I think about when I was younger, how we used to combat the heat. Um, you know, back when we were growing up, we didn't have central air conditioning. Heck, in our house, we didn't have air conditioning at all until we, Judy and I were like 13, 12 or 13 when we moved, my mom and dad moved into an apartment complex with us and they had an air conditioning, an air conditioning unit in the, um, living room. Each of the apartments had an air conditioning unit in the living room. And that's the first time Judy and I ever experienced air conditioning in our house. But when we were little, you know, of course, the heat doesn't bother you as much when you're little. And we were always outside anyway. But I was thinking, you know, uh, before we moved into the apartment complex, we lived in a house that had a pool and everything. And um, so we had the pool in the summertime and stuff. Before we had the pool um, in the summertime we would go down to the local baseball field and for like I guess a month or so they had this uh, youth summer camp and we used to go there every year that was fun and then every so often our parents would drop us off at the local there was this local pond lovingly referred to as the mud hole And you could go and swim and stuff. It was a lot of fun. I mean, everybody, you know, would be there. So I just, uh, and of course camping. Whenever we were camping, like I say, the heat never bothered Judy and I when we were little growing up. And our parents would take us camping. There were a couple of campgrounds that we used to go to quite frequently. I mean, we used to, there was a time where we camped for weeks on end. Now, these campgrounds were 
less than 20 minutes away from our house, both of these campgrounds. So my mom worked at night cleaning offices and my dad would drop her off. She worked four hours cleaning offices. So we would all go into town. We'd drop mom off at work. We'd go home. Uh, dad would do some laundry, repack the car with some supplies, you know, fresh cold food and stuff to take back in the cooler and such. And then uh, we'd head, you know, when it was time to pick mom up and then we'd all head back to camp. But we would camp literally for weeks on end. We used to have a seasonal site. And we would literally go weeks on end and just come back home to do laundry and replenish our food. <laughs> and then go back out. Oh my gosh, so much fun. And we tent camped too for weeks on end. So much fun. They had a river that we used to go fishing and they had a little beach where you could sit in the water and cool off and all kinds of activities and just so much fun. Oh my gosh, before we know it, we're done. Oh wow, that was a lot of fun. There we go. I'll have to tell you about some stories about camping. Oh my gosh, definitely. Well, look at that. Let's back up. There we are. Oh, she came out so pretty. Nice. Nice and shiny. Excellent. Well, friends, we are done with another coaster. My goodness. I want to thank you so much for stopping by today. And please consider subscribing to my channel. Please hit that bell notification. You'll be notified every time that I upload a video. And please leave me a comment. Let me know how you combat the summer and how you used to combat the summer back when you were growing up. Did you have a favorite uh, place that you would go swimming? Did you have a pool yourselves at your house? Or did you go camping? And how did you uh, get through the summertime growing up? And how are you? I want to know how you are for sure. So please include that in the comments and hit that bell notification. Uh, as I said, when you uh, subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up and that means a lot to me, your support. Thank you so much again. And until I see you next time, my friends, God bless you. Take care. Have a great day. Happy crafting. Goodbye now.